dear viewers and welcome to RT Dish English News ed Edition. Here are the headlines. The President of Somaliland returns to his country after a visit of 48 hours in Djibouti. Inauguration of an education and agriculture greenhouses at the Dikhil Technical High School. Robert Mugabe, Zimbabwe's fourth president, died at the age of 95. Thank you for joining us in our newsroom. Tribute by the President of the Republic, His Excellency Smilo Mergele, for the former uh, president of Zimbabwe. The President of the Republic, His Excellency Smilo Mergele, paid a vibrant tribute to the memory of the late Robert Mugabe, the former uh, Zimbabwean president who died this Friday morning at the age of 95 in Singapore, where he was receiving care. In his message, President Gele paid tribute to the memory of a charismatic leader who has long worked for the independence of his country. He also uh, he is also an undeniable craftsman in founding uh, Father of contemporary and modern Zimbabwe, said the President of the Republic, if he never sees to lose his energy in the fight of the dignity and equity of his compatriots, he also distinguished himself for his permanent commitment to a fraternal, united, and prosperous Africa. President Smarl Mergele also stressed, for whom, with the death of Robert Mugabe, Africa undoubtedly lost one of its most illustrious sons. President of Somaliland Musa Bifi has on Friday returned to his country after a 48 hours visit. He was uh, greeted at the Mbuli International Airport by Prime Minister Abdul Qadir Kamil Mohammed, a number of members of the government, including Minister of Foreign Affairs and International Cooperation Government spokesman Mohammed Ali Yusuf and Minister of Defense in charge of parliamentary relations, Hassan Umar Mohammed and Minister of Agriculture and Water, Mr. Mohammed Ahmed Asoui, in addition to other permanent personalities. The Somali president shook hands with the members of the government before he got on the plane. It is worth mentioning that the visit of the president of the Somaliland to the Djibouti comes in the light of uh, continuous consultations and contacts between the two parties. The Minister of National Education and Vocational Training, Mr. Mustafa Mohammed Mahmoud, inaugurated a training space for plants production on Thursday, September 5th. According to the Minister of National Education, the project carried out with the support of the Turkish cooperation agency TIKA is an essential lever for the growth of the regional econo economy and a means of modernizing people's fields of competence. In addition to the Turkish ambassador and TIKA representative, many personalities, including the prefect of Dikhid, Mr. Mohammed Sheko, the president of the regional council, Mr. Abdurrahman Yunis, the Secretary General of Menfa, Mr. Mohammed Abdullah Mahyoub, Director General of Technical Education, Vocational Training, and Technical Advisor, took part in the inaugural ceremony which took place at the Dikhil Technical High School. In a speech, the prefect of the region uh, welcomed the Minister of Education and the delegation accompanying him, as well as the Turkish ambassador and representative of TIKA, uh, expressing his pleasure to receive this high-level educational delegation. He also expressed his satisfaction with the introduction of agriculture in the Technical Secondary School of Dikhil, which will allow the region's young students and others to benefit from high-quality vocational training. He added that it will enable them to acquire agricultural skills that will contribute to the fight against unemployment among young people who participated in training on agricultural production in people from all walks of life and religion, and in turn will provide training for young people living in the continent where they live. In turn, the President of the Regional Council said that this site will have uh, an active role in promoting the idea and importance of agriculture for young people. As for the Minister of National Education for the Professional Training, Mr. Mustafa Mohammed uh, Mahmoud, uh, praised the important role that this project will uh, play in advancing agriculture production in the regions and for the benefit of the young people living in this part of the region by providing them with a training site in the agriculture sector. He also pointed out that this site will be able to give an opportunity to upgrade the important disciplines in the field of agriculture as this region has advantages in this area.
The Minister of Health, Mr. Mohamed Barsamadiriye, met yesterday with the main officials in charge of the intra housing spraying strategy that will soon be uh, implemented in the capital's high risk malaria areas. The intra housing spray techniques is approved by WHO and adopted by many countries in Africa and around the world, which consists of spreading an intercessive on the walls and has no side effects on health of the populations. The Minister of Health is therefore assured that all the necessary prerequisites have been met with the effective launch of an effective and sustainable intra housing spray strategy targeting nearly 6,000 households in high risk areas. In this new strategy, complements and reinforces other factors of uh, uh, control response strategies to effectively contribute to the preventive control of mosquitoes. Following an official invitation, the Minister of Energy in charge of natural resources, Yunus Ali Gedi, on an official visit to Egypt during the period from 4 to 7 September 2019, was received on Thursday, 5 September 2019, by his Egyptian counterpart, Tariq Al Mullah, at the headquarters of the Egyptian Ministry of Petroleum and Mineral Resources. The two ministers discussed uh, the issues of gas, oil, and mining exploitation between our two countries and the opportunities for training for employees of the Ministry of Energy. The Kampinski Palace uh, Hotel hosted uh, yesterday a signing ceremony between Djibouti Telecom senior officials uh, headed by the Director General Mr. Mohamed Asoui Bouh and a Chinese delegation of telecoms, more precisely the China Mobile Groups led by its President Mr. Li Yu. During uh, this meeting, a partnership between the Chinese telecommunications grant operator in Djibouti Telecom was discussed. The signature between the two operators will boost communication but also internet access in the region. The signing ceremony will promote development, cooperation and contribute to the contract construction of an interconnected and better region. The, the, in his speech, Director General Mr. Mohamed Asoui Bouh uh, highlighted that two partnerships signature in reinforces once again the relations between the two countries. He noted that this occasion comes within the framework of enhancing the existing cooperation between Djibouti Telecom and China Mobile Telecommunications Group and the need to move forward for the friendly relations between Djibouti Telecom and the Chinese company. There will be opportunities to see firsthand uh, the various technical and commercial points and programs of common interest, he added. Moving on to the regional news, uh, the first government in Sudan since the fall of President Omar al-Bashir in April on unveiled on Thursday a major step in the process of transition with the establishment of institutions that should lead to civilian rule after decades of authoritarian rule. After a, day, after a delay of several days, the government's announcement was finally made on a Thursday evening at a press conference in Khartoum by its leader, Abdullah Hamdouk, an experienced economist who was inducted on 21, 21st August rebels from these marginalized regions fought for years against Omar al-Bashir regime, which was overthrown after four months and unprecedented demonstration. That's all for this news. Thank you for joining us on RTD channel. Have a good night.